Hi, so this is our ninth video and uh, in this video we are going to analyze our vendor open items which we are saying that it is vendor invoice. So that means all the logistic activities are completed. Now we are we are having the vendor invoices and this vendor invoice is ready for the payment. Then the payable team because it is P2P so starting from procurement then it will end with the payment so the payable team they are going to proceed with the payment but before that the reconciliation team they are going to analyze the vendor invoices so those items should be due for the payment purpose but we will see here with reference to our pre previous vendor invoice the open items we will see and I'm going to show you both in our on-premise system as well as in the Fury system because sometimes like if you are going to show that I have knowledge of Fury which is our new platform in our S4 or you, you can say that along with on-premises I also have exposure to Fury then it is going to be very added advantage to your profile so first I'm going to same report I'm going to show you in our on-premises in S4 on-premises and also in Fury as well so next I'm going to move into the SAP screen to analyze our vendor invoice so this is our SAP screen and we are going to see the vendor so one option is I can search directly to the transaction code or I can navigate it so I will go to now it is accounting because vendor is part of your payable so accounting then go to accounts payable then go to info reports and I want to see the I can see the vendor balance or I can see the line items. I can see the detailed information. So let, let me show you first the vendor balance. So I want to see the vendor balance, the particular vendor. So this is our vendor and I want to see the details. So what is the payable balance? So payable balance is showing including tax. Don't get confused with 820. 820 plus tax is there and it is to invoice. Uh, it's showing just balance. I don't know like it is the total payable balance, right? So for this particular vendor, the payable amount is 861. I want to see details. I want to see more details. So in that case, I need to go to the line items. So that is another report here you can see. It will go to the line items here we are going to get the details so list of vendor line items select your vendor you can directly remember this vendor number and we can execute so now we are going to execute here so the data is coming from the back end, the table. But as an end user, you don't no need to worry about all these tables and all. It is all this consulting or development job. Uh, now let's analyze here. So I can see here, see here two line items are there. Right, so this is uh, our vendor details. I can see here two line items are there. One line item is 840. This is your goods plus tax and this is your transport. As I have selected one vendor, so that's why for this particular vendor, both information so you can also select different vendors one for your goods and another one for your uh, vendor now who posted this invoice no one this invoice posted with reference to our vendor invoice which i posted my previous invoice or uh, previous vendor uh, video and with reference to that i can see here this accounting document these are accounting documents so this accounting when we will we will see the more about document when we will go to the r2 r series or the gl series so here i can see two accounting documents are there or two line items are there and payable balance is 861 and uh, this is my supplier number this is my vendor number and also you can see one more account information is there that is 4001 this is your recon account so let's say what is the need of reconciliation account for example let's say we have 
different vendors are there okay so we have vendor x y z a b like this we have different vendors are there now for these vendors we have so many line items will be there credit debit somewhere advanced will be there advanced payment somewhere your payable items are there like this millions of transactions will be there now we when we will prepare the balance sheet is it practically possible kya aap sare line items ko consolidate kar sakte ho and usko aap balance sheet mein dikha sakte ho practically not possible so that is why here in erp and particularly in sap we are going to use one gl account so this is your gl so this gl accounts you can name anything as accounts payable sundry creditor anything so here i am using one gl accounts accounts payable and this number is 4001 now uh, like if i will check this gl you will find here some payable balance is there right so this gl account 4001 is not only connected with this vendor this one is connected with multiple vendors so that means it is connected with our vendor x it is connected with y z a everything so whenever any transactions and in erp we are saying that this is our sub ledger this is our sub ledger and this one is our gl so every transaction whatever we are going to post with our sub ledger in this case it is vendor you will find one copy in our ap or this account number 4001 so if any time if we need to have a balance sheet we need to prepare balance sheet simply we will take this balance this gl account balance we are going to take and in balance sheet so when you will prepare your balance sheet you will just going to show that your accounts payable balance is 4001 account no need to take the individual account information so that is the benefit of accounts payable now suppose uh, i want to see the gl balance related to this account number 4001 now 4001 account balance is not maybe 861 because for this 4001 account maybe some other vendor informations will be there right now it's showing 861 because i have selected only one vendor so that is why it's showing 861 let me remove that particular vendor and i will see the account balance of 861 let me remove this particular vendor the current vendor this one i'm going to remove it then once again we will run it now it's not only one vendor you can see so many line items are there and right now what is your current vendor balance the vendor balance is showing 861 your vendor balance is showing 861 but what is the gl balance showing the accounts payable gl account so the gl account balance is showing gl account balance is showing 325860 that means this includes multiple line entries it includes also a different vendor you can say it's a different vendor this is a different vendor so that is the benefit of using accounts payable so in interview if you are getting any questions like what is the use of reconciliation accounts so and particularly if it is related to your sub ledger so you can see that you can say that uh, all your sub ledger transactions example vendor same concept also we will see during our customer also but let's focus on the payable part so all your sub ledger balances or sub ledger transactions every item you will find in this particular gl if i will show you the gl report you will find exactly same entries are also available in our gl also so let me also check the gl account so what is the gl account number gl account number 4001 let's take that entry you will find your two invoice entries are also available with this So this GL account balance is showing 32 8 uh, 32 5 8 6, which includes our two transactions 8 40 and 21. So this is the use of accounts payable. Now uh, uh, let's check these two documents. Let's take this document. Suppose this one. So complete history you will get here. Everything. So first we have created one purchase order. Done. Next we proceed with GR. This this is the document. This one. This one. With reference to this, we got the accounting document already. I have shown in our previous video. So once again, I am not going to use. I am going to check that one. So this is our accounting document we got here. This document number. Uh, accounting document related to this one. The GR. Plus with reference to the vendor invoice. from the logistic we got this document 51004 let's check this document 
in our previous entry when we have processed our GR what was the accounting entry that time it was stock debit with 820 credit was GRIR 800 and freight clearing account was credit with 20 I hope you remember this one with reference to GR now with reference to invoice so GRIR account is debited with 800 credit is your accounts uh, vendor or accounts payable okay so what is the amount 840 including tax 840 and uh, then where uh, this this is your tax amount so receivable tax or purchase tax purchase tax debit 40 so this is your credit this is your debit so this invoice is posted with reference to our previous vendor invoice similarly in another video uh, uh, another uh, transaction is also there two line entries are there so for that 21 you will find the other vendor invoice so we analyzed we posted with reference to previous invoice we analyze the accounting part now this is purely accounting job this is purely related to our uh, uh, your uh, that means when the r2r team they are going to or the gl team they are going to prepare the balance sheet they are going to take this data but which how it is gener generated this data generated from the payable or from the logistic point of view activities so this is the benefit of your using erp or in accounts payable accounts payable connected with your gl now same information let me show you in the fury exactly you will get the same information only in a different platform that is the cloud one in fury we will get it so with reference to purchase order the complete information so this is my fury and uh, we will check with reference to the purchase order so i don't remember the purchase order so let's take the purchase order and we will search it this is our purchase order number So here no transaction code no navigation it is the particular application so i am going to check the application so i want to see the document just like you are using smartphone different applications are there so here also we have different applications so i am uh, here searching one application that is document flow right so we got this application Now, which document we are looking here we are looking here the purchasing document so what is our purchasing document i just uh, use here the purchasing document as my purchase order select and go so you will get a complete flow so what i did here so first i created one purchase order so this is my purchase order with reference to purchase order then these are all logistic the first segment is the logistic activity so i process the gr then i process the invoice and with reference to purchase order what was the accounting document there was no accounting document because po is pure logistic document but with reference to gr the accounting document is 5002 already we verified from the on-premises so same is available in fury 2 then with reference to with reference to the vendor invoice we have also the accounting document or our invoice is there now this one is your accounting and this one is your logistic so as we perform all these activities there we can use fury also in a different example we will use fury so with reference to this uh, logistic activity we got the accounting document now suppose i want to see here the same report which is there in the on-premises this one this vendor report i want to see here this this one so this one i want to see that is also possible in fury also we can use again for that we have to use the required application so let's take that one so you need to take this particular application manage supplier line items so here uh, uh, this is not my company code this is company code now items i am looking here supplier if you remember this one then uh, it will otherwise all items will come uh, let me run it for all items for multiple suppliers it will come okay so which one is our supplier so the this one so we have two line items if we'll click here and you will see that two items are there one this one and this one so it is exactly the data whatever we have here 840 and 21 so same is there in the cloud or so you must heard that cloud computing so this is your cloud 
okay so these two line items are there so we verified in on-premises we verified in the fury fury if you can manage add in resume it is going to help you otherwise no no issue with on-premises also you will get good number of interview calls also but if you know the fury or if you have a very good command on fury definitely you can add because it is a new technology and uh, you will get more interview calls thank you we will see another video that is related to same accounts payable